Hi, I'm Mayor Carl Dean and welcome to Nashville. I want to say thank you to Gear Expo 2014 for hosting your event in Music City. I'd like to thank Dave Pensado and Herb Trawick, hosts of Pensado's Place, for hosting Gear Expo in Nashville. I know many Nashvillians have been featured on Pensado's Place and that is a great way to highlight our music industry. The music industry gives Nashville its edge and gives us its authenticity. Music and audio education are important to the Nashville music community. I appreciate that Gear Expo supports this philosophy by providing real-world information on music and audio engineering. I hope you have a wonderful event today at Vintage King. Thank you. What a great way to start off an amazing event. As the show kicked off with the first round of panels, we headed into Vintage King to sit down with some of the featured guests to get their thoughts on Pensado's place and the Nashville Gear Expo. It's nice to see everyone here and, and have Herb and Dave doing a traveling road show and not just concentrating in one city, but allowing the opportunity for people in, in all the major outlets to, to uh, you know, get a voice and get a, get a hang on. I just saw a bunch of people hanging out here, so I thought I'd kind of climb up on stage and see what I could get in on. But no, seriously, I, the one thing that's really fantastic about Nashville is we're, we're all buddies and we're all so used to, like, giving and sharing ideas and um, if anybody needs any help. It's kind of a real family here in Nashville. and uh, So this is a perfect place to put on the Gear Expo. This is a pretty cool thing. It's more than I expected. It's a lot of different people, uh, a lot of different uh, levels of uh, professionalism. So we get some beginners here and we get uh, the pro of the pros here. And um, it's, it's a very cool event. It's a good opportunity for the community and um, yeah, I've met some some uh, people, young young people that are getting started, and they you know shaking their hands and sort of giving them a few minutes to time just to sort of inspire them and inspires me, and that, you know that, that's what I'm enjoying about today. I like coming to these events to meet all the um, like up and coming dudes, people who are like committed to this thing that are learning and want to ask us questions and um, find out more about what they're doing and find out about what we do and how we do it. We get to share the knowledge we learn from our mentors. I'm seeing that a lot of these guys here are, are older in age and they're and basically they're real start they're they're just starting as two. And I just wanted to be that example because I didn't get my first hit until I was 40 years old. So that's when my career took off. So it's so I just want to let everybody know that it can be done as long as you keep doing your homework and getting better at it and be, you know coming up becoming amazing at it. I mean, I've met people in the audience that are from Puerto Rico, Germany, I mean, like, all over the place. Um, and I think it's just, it's a cool thing for Nashville to have this going on here. Um, it's, it's really inspiring to see so many people interested in the audio. And, and with the hookup with Vintage King and all the quality products that they uh, support, um, I think it's, it's really... It's cool to see people caring about what we do. I mean, all of three of us have given our lives to, you know, our passion. And, and it looks like there's another generation that's going to care that much as well. It's a great place to be. It's great that, uh, that Herb and Dave care enough to come out here and, and, and see us in this great community. Uh, and, and it shows how influential they have been to, uh, to bring all these people out for uh, for an event here. Listening to the, the other members of the panel and the previous panel, I like the fact that um, I haven't been wrong. They're saying everything that I lived for and live still live for, uh, expressing the passion and the hard work, etc. It's coming in different words and different accents in my case, but it's the same feeling, you know, and I agree, the friendliness of Nashville and the gathering here Everyone feels pretty friendly and uh, eager to, to, to learn, and uh, it's a good thing. It's just so inspiring to be out interviewing people, so I've had the opportunity to do that today, and just hear stories from our viewers about how the show has, has changed their lives and the gear they love and um, just the excitement about Vintage King and all of the vendors. It's just been, it's it's inspiring just to see like excitement. The music industry has changed so much and, and here we are with all these people that are aspiring or doing it and and to come together as a community, it's it's just going to propel the industry. I'm here to just encourage these the new and the new engineers and songwriters and 
producers uh, to just keep going, keep getting better, keep getting great, and don't give up on the dream that you have. It's an amazing event that everyone attends, and I think it'll just grow every year. So we're excited about it, and we're excited to have it here in Nashville. You know, I'm happy to be here and hanging out with these guys and just the hang, you know. Good manners, drinking skills, things like this. <laughs> Learn how to hang, right? Yes. <laughs>